welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose. I changed my name on YouTube here, a lot of you noticed, because, not because there's another Victoria Rose, but because that name is pretty general. But Toy Robot is my handle on every other social media that I have, so I'm just like, I'll just put it on YouTube as well. Ignore my hair. I lightened up the roots, but I didn't put in the black hair dye yet, because I'm like, hmm, maybe I can t maybe I can transition to like a lighter color. Um, packing up, it's, this is um, my month anniversary in Korea. So happy anniversary. It's been very overcast the whole time I've been here. I can't believe it's been a month. But anyways, I'm packing everything up, which I hate to do, and I'm moving into an actual apartment now, and I'm going more up north, so I'm not gonna be as center. I'm gonna do an apartment tour whenever I get over there. I have been doing other things here and there as well. Like, I tried pepper, a pepper latte the other day. That's legit pepper right there. I thought it was just like a, a like a, oh, it's, yeah, a little pepper, a little honey. It's a lot of pepper. <laughs> Little crunch but somehow I don't know how Korea does it but they make everything work I don't know if it would be my favorite latte in the world and I also have been trying to get myself more balanced and I need to like try and get into nature every day because it's very important for us as people well, I decided to take myself on a little walk in nature it's like kind of out in the forest in Seoul and there's just like this gem I don't think these things really do anything. I don't know what they could possibly be for. Oh, there's a bug on my lens. I'll go and find a uh, somewhere on the map and just go there by myself not knowing my way around or anything. And that's why I always get lost because I don't actually know where I'm going. These moments and these things, it makes up life. You know, whether you're with someone or not, you're the same person, you're having the same feelings. And it's kind of an illusion to think that you need another human being beside you. Sorry, I'm breathing loud. This is all uphill, which is nice. This is like a huge forest and then right in the middle of the city. so nice to just be in nature. I think they have all the trees like, hi bird. This outdoor gym, I've never seen this before. There's actual weights. This is like in the middle of the forest park. They have mirrors and weights, but they have actual weighted machines. That is cool. Oh, I love this. I haven't had like proper weights like this for a while. So that's what I've been up to. Now we're moving and you're coming with me. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, this is heavy. It's so frustrating because it's like when traveling, you're always so humbled because things never are as easy as they're supposed to be. Like getting here, this is this wasn't that far away. Like it shouldn't have been so hard. Calling a taxi took so long. And then getting here, I couldn't figure out the lock and stuff. And I'm I'm finally here. This is the this is the reality of traveling. I I am mortified, terrif I am terrified of taxis. I'm trying to hail in myself. And the hotel couldn't call one for me, so I had to go out on the busy street and try to hail one with both my suitcases. I got one, and I started putting my suitcases in, which are really heavy. And here, in every other country, they always help you, but here they do not. Um, that's one thing about um, Korea that I've noticed is you, you don't really get help doing things, which is fine. So I struggled and put them in, and then I showed him the address, and he, I don't know what he was saying. But basically, he said no, so I had to take them all the way back out. And it was, it's just the morale. The morale just drops. Because there's so much more to it than just, oh, you just hail a taxi. No, like it has to be a certain kind of taxi. It has to be available. And then he just didn't want to take me to that location. I don't know. Maybe he thought I was going to the airport because I had so many suitcases, because I had my suitcases. Yeah, we're here. Okay, we're here. I thought these windows I could see out of and I cannot. So I'm actually pretty disappointed about that because I'm going to be here for the month and I can't look out the window. I'm sad, but because I'm overwhelmed. 
I overheated too. That's why like I unbuckled, unbu I had to carry all my suitcases up and everything by myself. They're very, very heavy. This is good. I just wish I could see out the windows. That's all. These doors, let me just button my pants. Get myself together. Okay, so I figured it out. These things move around a lot. All of them move, as you can see. So if you do it this way and move all these over to the side, you can kind of see out here if there wasn't a bunch of bubble wrap on it, but also completely outdoors. <laughs> yes, this is half my life trying to figure out how things work. Like, it's so hilarious. Like, I'm, I feel like a monkey all the time trying to like push buttons and figure out how everything works constantly because everything's different in every country. And I just... Uh, All right, it is time for the apartment tour because I've, I've figured everything out. This is kind of more of what I would imagine the apartments are kind of like here. They're very small and it's a, it's a good price. It's like, it was like $700 for a month and that's with Airbnb. Good price, small, but efficient. Let's start. I don't know how to stop it. Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> this happened at the, the front door too, and it, I didn't even do anything. Like I just kind of like almost tried to open the door and then this weird alarm goes off. It's embarrassing because I'm like, that's, I have not navigated this part yet. I'm just gonna get this battery out for now. And my translator app is like, hmm, I don't think I'll translate this right now. I just, I'd like you to, to just squirm in awkwardness. I think you're just supposed to push this button. Oh wait, I took the battery out. Fuck, please don't get Fuck. <sighs> All right, this is how I figure things out. It's very awkward and embarrassing. Not, I don't know if anybody heard that, but like mm, someone's really struggling on, on that floor. You walk in, bathroom door, toilet paper, we have laundry stuff, cleaner, stuff like that. I put my suitcase right here with my shoes on it. And as is custom in Asian countries, you take your shoes off. So there's slippers right there. One room, studio. Um, and basically this is the whole apartment. So we have the bed, this table right here, I'm gonna put my laptop on, bean chair. We have TV, a little area right here to, sit and put on my makeup which is really cute i like that i needed a place to do that and then i also have a hair dryer which i'm really happy because my hotel room last time plugged in the hair dryer and, and it just melted so i didn't have a hair dryer the whole time yes my life is like this and i'd really like to manifest it to not be like this but i just got a vibe higher I just got a vibe higher <laughs> someone help me vibe higher please Yes, I did melt it. It completely melted. Anyways, okay, so we have the fridge right here. There's nothing in it yet, but I'm very excited because this has a full kitchen. I didn't have that in my hotel room. Fridge, cool. Microwave, kettle. This is for the AC. I turned the AC off right now, so it's really hot in here. This is the closet that I put all my clothes in. Just hung some things up, suitcase. So this is a little kitchen. I mean, has everything you need really. Has a nice little gas stove. We have some nice chopsticks up here. Ooh, cute. A couple of ingredients, which is nice. We have some oil, some sesame oil, pepper, sugar. What is this? What is this? Oh, sugar? And this is just my protein. I have like energy tea. It's fine. So I just put more stuff in under these drawers because I just have quite a bit of stuff. And this is like laundry stuff, like extra clean things. And then I got a green screen the other day. It was another big ordeal. In total, I spent probably like 
$25 on these two clips in this nice green screen. This is the single bed and it's on the floor. And as you saw, you saw the windows. We had that full thing. So let's look at the bathroom. Now, this is very typical of like Asian countries to have, you have the bathroom, but the shower is kind of just there and everything is, it's a free for all. You just spray everything with water. Everything gets wet in these types of bathrooms. I'm kind of confused by this shower situation cause this thing up here, but this, which kind of into that does not reach. So you can't put it up there. You literally have to like, I am assuming a shower would look something like this. I guess I close the toilet. And then I... Oh, I almost water my eyes. Oh, oh. I pull this down, but there's no curtain. And then I'm like, oh. And then it just sprays all over the sink, all over the towels right here. And I'm like, oh no, don't do that. And then I spray it in my face again. And then I like fall on into the toilet. I just don't, I don't understand this. There's the toilet paper right here. It'll get wet. <sighs> Call me ignorant. Go ahead. I'll figure this out as I do figure everything else out. But like, what is this? What is this? Where's the drain? The drain's under the sink. How do you do this? Like, where, where? Anyways, <laughs> I used to like actually try and look pretty for my videos. Now I'm just slopped together. I'm like, I can't focus on me looking good right now. So I'm sorry about that. And my roots are just, today we're gonna go out. We're gonna look for some hair dye. I don't know what color it's gonna be. So this is all my things. And then some of the things that are provided by the Airbnb just kind of smushed everything up in here. I got some Korean products. I got rosemary for the roots. They have a lot of like really cool products that aren't even that expensive. I think it's like, this is another thing for like the scalp, a scalp treatment. And they use a lot of mugwort here. They have mugwort tea, they put mugwort, it's like an herb that they put in things. And so this is like for the scalp. This is a vinegar rinse for the hair. This is for the roots. Rosemary is supposed to be good for your hair. And this is a hair oil that I use when I bleach my hair. Uh, razor and then you have the other stuff. This is this is mine. Um, it's a it's a water pick It's like for flossing. It's good. It's better for the environment <clears throat> Focus It's better for the environment because like you floss with water, but it does require batteries That's the bathroom that I, I will figure out and I will update you on I'll figure that out God damn it Vibe high vibe higher <laughs> Hope you appreciate my effort. All right, so there's a good dance floor. You can just dance. Interpretively. This is, this is my interpretive dance of my struggle of life. I get little tiny little steps and then I run into another struggle. Down, down, little more steps. Down, down, little more steps. Oh, backtracking. Oh no, oh no, going backwards. And then, oh. God damn it, frustration. <sighs> Sob. So oh, this floor is really squishy and soft. <clears throat> it's a, the bed's hard, but that's not a problem. I think it's probably good to sleep in a hard bed. I need to go out and get an adapter. I don't have that yet. I've been here a full month and I still don't have an adapter. Anyways, that's a tour of my apartment. I know this is a tour video and I haven't done one of these for a while. Some people complain. Why are you taking indoor videos? I like taking indoor videos and I like doing tours and I'm fascinated about living accommodations. I just think that they're cool. Stay extraterrestrial, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video.